iOS 10 Beta 2 was just released a few days ago, and they also released the public beta for anyone to install. These two builds of iOS are essentially the same, and one of the questions we get quite often with these betas is whether or not you should install it. So the easy answer is no. It's beta software, which means that it's not finished. And if you have a device that you rely on, installing unreliable software on the device usually isn't a good idea. But having the new software is pretty cool and tempting. So what can you expect if you install it? Well, one of the first things you'll notice is battery life, and it's probably not gonna be very good. Beta 2 is much better, but still nowhere near as what it was in iOS 9. So when you're using your phone, if you're used to getting through the day, that's probably not gonna happen anymore, and you're definitely gonna have to charge at least once. Now, when actually using the phone, another thing to keep in mind is third-party apps. All the apps in the App Store aren't updated to run in iOS 10. Most of them work, but there's no guarantee that they will, and a lot of them do have some issues. For me on my phone, Facebook just won't stay open, and this is a problem that we've seen. And also, there's many other important apps that a lot of people use every single day that simply just don't work very reliably in iOS 10. It's really hit or miss, but be sure to check out the link down in the description for a list of apps that we know work and some that we know have issues. But really, app crashes and issues are just something to expect when using beta software. There's also the general system bugs. For the most part, it works pretty well, and beta 2 actually is a big improvement over beta 1. But every once in a while, you do get to these stalls and hiccups and even resprings. One weird bug I noticed on this phone is that when playing audio from pretty much any source, it'll just randomly pause every once in a while. There's no reason for it, but it's just beta software. These kind of things do happen. And also some UI elements can act up and not work the way they're supposed to or the way you expect them to. And overall, this is just something to expect. Beta 2 is much better than Beta 1, but still, there are going to be some issues. Now, there are some benefits though. You get the new lock screen, you get the widgets, you get the home app, messages app, all these new updated things are here in iOS 10. But even still, there are some things to consider. Like in the messages app, yes, you get all the cool features, but you can't actually use those unless someone else has iOS 10. If someone's running iOS 9, you send them a message with one of these new features, it's not gonna do anything. And also in maps, there's new extensions, but those aren't available yet because they can't be in the app store. So yes, you get to play with a lot of the new features, but a lot of them either aren't working or just aren't available for everyone yet. So should you install the iOS 10 beta? Well, if you really rely on your device and you can't have any issues, then no. Also, if there's an app that you use that is broken, then no, you probably wouldn't want to. But the beta is relatively stable and works well enough to use day to day. It isn't perfect and will have issues, but really you have to balance reliability for some new features. So that's what to expect if you install the iOS 10 beta. But as with all beta software, if you can't risk it, then don't. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to see when new videos are out and visit MacRumors.com for more. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors and I'll see you next time.